This is a 56-year-old male with a history of low testosterone and elevated prolactin levels. The images demonstrate an infiltrating, flare mildly hyperintense, enhancing mass invading the left cavernous sinus deep venous sulcus compartment. The carotid venous sulcus compartment invasion is delineated on the post-contrast coronal T1 weighted images with greater than 90 degrees encasement of the horizontal cavernous internal carotid artery segment on the left. The flow void of the vessel itself is maintained. There is no component of the mass extending into the supracellar compartment or displacing the infundibulum. The findings are most compatible with a pituitary macroadenoma. Pituitary macroadenoma is greater than 10 millimeters in greatest dimension. They are approximately twice as common as microadenomas. Typical clinical presentations result from local mass effect on the surrounding structures, such as the optic chiasm. Patients may also present with hormonal abnormalities, such as in this case. Hormonally active tumors tend to be detected earlier, and larger lesions are prone to hemorrhage, potentially resulting in apoplexy. Prolactin-secreting lesions are more frequently seen with cavernous sinus invasion. Complete resection is difficult in the setting of cavernous sinus invasion.